What's up guys, how's everyone doing? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get real stage manager on older iPads for free. This is a feature that's exclusive to M1 iPads and this cool trick allows you to get stage manager on old iPads. In order for this to work, there's a few requirements. You must be either on a jailbreakable version or a troll store compatible version and the iPad must be on iPad OS 16.0 and up. Sadly, because stage manager was introduced in iPad OS 16, this doesn't work on anything earlier. As long as you meet those requirements, you're good to go. Let's get started. First, jailbreak your iPad. This can be done with tools like Palerine or also app-based jailbreaks as well. If you're on iPadOS 17 and you're unsure how to jailbreak your iPad, I have a tutorial linked down below in the description as well as in the cards that should be able to help you out. Next, go ahead and download FileZa and whatever package manager you have. I'm just gonna go ahead and draw this with the Apple Pencil and there you go, it worked. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and install that. If you don't wanna jailbreak your iPad and you're also on a Troll Store compatible version, alternatively, you can sideload FileZa and also do this process as well. Now that files is installed, we can go ahead and just open it up on our iPad. And from there, we can go to slash var, then scroll down to containers, then shared, then system group, then scroll all the way down and find systemgroup.com.apple.mobilegist.cache. Tap on that, go to library, go to caches. And then from there, just press and hold on the .plist file and select open with. Select Property List Editor, go into the Root section, press the I to the right of Cache Extra, and then from there scroll all the way down and select Add Item. After that, you'll see this screen. Change the type to Number and make the value 1. Now from there, here's the tricky part. Copy and paste the number key from the description or manually input it, but you have to get it just right or else this won't work. So copying and pasting it is definitely probably your best bet if you can do that. Now just go back until you see save, go ahead and tap on save, and then from there, respring your device. If you did everything right, stage manager should now show up in settings under multitasking and gestures. If you go to control center, there should be a brand new toggle where you can enable and disable stage manager. And yeah, this is pretty cool. Because this isn't a jailbreak tweak and it's changing some code around, this persists through a reboot. So turn your device off, turn it back on, and you can see that it still works, which is really, really cool. So after doing everything I could think of and even buying a lightning to HDMI adapter, it seems as though for whatever reason I was not able to get external display working. Some people had suggested buying a keyboard and a mouse and I literally went out of my way to find the keyboard case on eBay and buy that and it, it didn't work. So your mileage might vary with that feature. I don't know, maybe I'm missing something and maybe for whatever reason I couldn't figure it out, but it might be possible and the Reddit post at least said that it should in theory be possible, but I wasn't able to figure it out. However, as I'm showing, if you just wanna mirror your display to a monitor, you can do that with AirPlay and you can do that with this adapter as well. Although I do have Macs where I can use the stage manager feature, this is honestly the first time that I've ever used it. And I have to say that this is really, really cool. You can pull up whatever apps you want and start interacting with any of them all at the same time. And if this iPad was a bit more powerful and I didn't have a studio setup, I probably could see myself at least trying this setup out. Quick note about this keyboard case, the key travel is definitely different than what you might expect with something like a laptop, which makes sense, but just figured I would mention that. Like I said, it's pretty cool that this is possible, but because it's on an older iPad, it's probably not gonna be very powerful, so you may not have a big use case for it. Still though, pretty cool to play around with if you've never used it before. Anyway guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button. Also go ahead and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Have a good one guys. Peace.